Welcome back to the uh, the Midwest Sports Show by yeah. Coastal. N- not really by Coastal because uh, you're not on the coast, I guess, but well, you're on the lake, though, right? If I, was at, if I was at the Bears game, we would be by Coastal. I came to Chicago to see the Bears, and, and they're not here. So. Yeah, they're in uh, the nation's capital. Uh, wow, what a, what as, a scary sight. But whatever's going on with those guys, they, I don't know. Oh, it's ugly in D.C. Why it did ugly. <laughs> why, did someone get hurt or something like that? Or I, I've not been watching it, so. No, this is terrible. The fans don't care. Uh, what has happened to this place? Like, <laughs> the Bears look good, but I mean, I can change. I don't know. They're they're a disaster. What 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 happened to what happened to the. What happened to the proud franchise that named themselves the Redskins? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe maybe yeah. everything? <laughs> yeah. And Trubisky finally looks like an all. Well, he did make the Pro Bowl last year. He looks pretty good tonight so far. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. All right. Maybe. Well, we yeah. uh, have quite a lot to talk about. Quite Quite a lot to talk about this week. Uh, including uh, the the week NFL uh, NFL week three. Can you believe it already, Gene? It's crazy. Yes, I can. I and, and to think I've been at two of the three weeks already. I know. Are you are you gonna like go for the uh, grand slam? You gonna go go for like fifteen? Yeah, I, I think. Uh, yeah, this could be a record. I think. No, I don't think I've ever done three. And I yeah, I might I might hit four games this year, four or five. Wow, Maybe. that's quite a bit. Um, yeah. But yeah, this is the uh, Midwest show, <laughs> Midwest Sports Show. My name is Chris Dotson, and then that's Gene Steichen. And Gene, Gene, you look like you're uh, in uh, Kaharda or Jakarta. Uh, I'm actually tied I'm down. A, I'm in a village. I'm in a village. I'm in the village of uh, Elk Grove, which yep. is a village. It's under water tower. <coughs> Even sponsored. Remember that last year, uh, I think it was the Bahama Bowl, one of the college football bowls. It, it was sponsored by Elk Grove Village, and that's where I am. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. That's uh, quite a tale. So, uh, all right. Well, thank you. I'm quite, quite you uh, you went to the uh, the Packer game. On Sundays, yeah. so we'll hear all about that. And then, did you go to any other sporting events that I'm not aware of? I, uh, I, well, I was there when the Cubs started their epic collapse <laughs> Thursday night. So you went to one of those games, okay? All right. So yeah. we will. Well, when the Cubs started chance, when and when the crowd was yes, when everything looked like uh, this was going to be the biggest series, and and it just all fell apart Thursday night. Yeah, I was there. And I was at my high school, my uh, high school alma mater's game Friday night. So I did, I did baseball, high school football, then I did, uh, yeah, then pro oh, wow. the Lambo. Well, it's good thing. It's good thing that uh, your bad luck uh, didn't come over to the Packers for God's sakes. Oh, because, I know. Uh, well, my high school team went off. My high school team had only won one game this year, and they won forty nine to thirteen. All right. And even they did. They did that in high school. If you go up 35, they put on a running clock. So they got the running clock going. They were, and so that was great. Yeah. I was a little worried seeing the Cubs the way they blew it, that I was kind of worried that it'd carry over to my high school and then maybe uh, Green Bay. But luckily, yeah. Not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, luckily, a uh, real sport, right? Like football, where uh, people yeah. actually try every week, right? I suppose. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. All right. Well, Gene, let's, uh, should we start? With the uh, the Packer game, the game that yeah. you went to, so you you got your tickets like way earlier, right? For these, I did, and thank goodness the ticket prices went up. And and I learned after the opening night with the Bears, because those just skyrocketed. Yeah, I bought them about a month ago. Oh, okay. All right. So did did you uh, take a gander at the prices? Uh, yeah, while you're walking, in? they went up. All right. Well, uh, I, I I only paid I 
after the opening night, I paid one eighty nine with fees. And All right. Really good seats. Hey, that's too. pretty good. Yeah. Where were you sitting actually? Yeah. Anything under two hundred. Yep. And you know what? Packer games Lambo is it, the thing that drives prices up. Is so many people from other teams go. There were a lot. That's the most I think I've ever seen. Maybe at Chicago uh, fans, but there were a ton of Denver fans there yesterday because it's such a destination. So everybody, everybody wants to go to Lambeau. So when your team plays there and it's the only time they've ever played there, I think, they never want to come from Denver. So they had a lot of fans there yesterday. Wow. Yeah, that's a couple of good points. I was going to say maybe because uh, it always seems like there's a lot of Wisconsin people that go to Denver. Maybe there's like a reverse right. exodus, exodus, you know? And yeah, well, I, I, there was a lot of Bronco fans around me, and they're all talking about how cool it was. It's a bucket list thing for most fans. It's got to be. And so, yeah, uh, why not? Gosh, it looks like I, I, yeah, then game after the game, everybody goes down by the field and takes pictures. And I, and the Packer fans, they really are great. They treat the opposing fans so well. <laughs> Maybe because they usually beat them too, so it makes it easy. Well, it's the Midwest politeness, Gene. You know, are well, they going to throw beers? Yeah, beers yeah. at them. They're good. Maybe they should. I and I went to the I went to the Packer tailgate after the game where the band played for three hours and and uh, the band the band guy the the uh, the lead singer kept saying, "Hey," uh, and he'd be like, "Let's be good to our." Bronco fans, give him a hug and buy him a beer. He's had enough uh, suffering for one. Wow. He said that a lot. That's pretty generous. Maybe, uh, maybe if there's a bear, I don't know. I, I just think the, the the people at Lambo really treat the away fans really great. That's been my experience. Well, I just think it's like it's it's not really respectful. It's like oh, you're gonna like talk shit to someone who like just lost their team, just lost, right? I mean, do you want yeah, people talking yeah. shit to you after your team loses when you spend a bunch of money and all that stuff? And then, like, dude, you didn't do anything anyways, right? <laughs> you, uh, yeah. You're just yeah. sitting in the stands, like, yelling and, like and, an idiot. people know, people do, they do come from all over just to visit Lambeau. It's bigger in the game. I mean, it really, it's just great. Because I remember I was, I think it was last year or the year before I was there when Cincinnati played, a lot of Bengal fans, and everybody is just, they're so, when they're there, they're just, I mean, it's amazing for people to see Lambo for the first time. I don't know. I, I've been going every year for quite a while, so it's been pretty cool. All right. Well, there you go, Gene. That's uh, quite an experience. Yeah. Quite an experience. But you know what? Yeah. Better than that, Gene. Yeah. Better than some stupid band uh, Pla playing, oh, okay. li listening to the oldies afterwards in the parking lot. How about that game? Oh, yeah. How about that game? Fantastic. Yeah, it was great. And I, you know, sometimes people get in late. I get in there uh, way before <laughs> anything starts. And yesterday they introduced the offense, and it was great. It was so – they were fired up. The defense – I'll tell you this about the defense, and I, I think Aaron Rodgers is really into it. Because they, they – I think they had – I don't know if they had – they made three turnovers yesterday. But, boy, they're, they're fired up. It really carries over. Yeah, they're like yeah, running at the everything. Fan, the fans were really. It was a great atmosphere. And it sounds uh, it sounds like the yeah. fans are like actually like getting loud because uh, I remember like I don't know like two or three yeah. years ago people would just not say anything and people would be yeah, telling other I people think, to sit I down. Think, I know. I think people are really enthused because uh, well, first off, the PA guy he when when uh, the Packers are on defense, he really gets the fans ro ro going because he wants my standing. But I think I think the Packers fans are really excited about the defense, so it makes them really energetic. Yeah, it's actually fun to watch the defense as opposed to uh, yeah. a horror oh, show. Great. Yeah, yeah, they're really in it. well. Yeah, I guess they're surviving without Clay Matthews, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Huh? It's almost like uh, that overpaid white guy was holding the back, maybe possible. All right, and yeah. uh, and and every I go. Ahead. I could say every time they get a turnover. The defense all huddles together in the end zone, and they do a whole thing, and they get the crowd really <laughs> fired up. It's really, I, it's really neat. I, yeah, the energy level is really high. Yeah, Very there's, exciting. there's definitely like a freshness, right? Like new, like youngness, freshness. Yeah. Like people are allowed to express themselves, right, right. and they're not just feel like they're beaten down by fucking Bart Starr's legacy and all this other crap. <laughs> you know. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's almost like, yo, let's just have I fun, you know? It. Or the Packers, for God's sakes. Let's they have fun. Some of the old timers before, but yeah, the people were, it was great. Really fun. And then, uh, I don't know, they do a lot of stuff in the stadium to keep the fans engaged, but it's it was really neat. Really, right, I, well, I, I really had a good time. All right. Well, I know you don't probably remember a lot of these plays, but uh, you definitely saw Aaron Rodgers throw some dimes into the receivers. Yeah. And uh, right. I'll tell you what, seeing Aaron Rodgers throw completion in real life like that, it's a thing of beauty, huh, right. Gene? It's great watching him. I know. And, I mean, oh, I want to say one other thing. When, when they introduced the offense, Aaron Rodgers was the last guy to come out, and he goes through the the players form a line on both sides. He was really fired up. I mean, he he's really into it. But yeah, it's great watching him. Oh my god. Yep. And I think he's really enthused because the defense is so good. Well, at least they're playing really good. And uh, yeah, I think I think he's really uh, fired up. And he he didn't throw for a lot of yards, but. He was good. He well, seemed really good, wasn't it's he? It's the uh, yeah, for sure. He he's definitely... my fantasy quarterback. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's been getting you points, right? I know. Yeah, uh, I, I I had a point or two. Yeah, well, so they had a uh, you know flashes of brilliance like they have, but then uh, just kind of these uh, sputtering drives as well. And I uh, think it's a lot because uh, Dev- I heard that Devontae Adams doesn't even have a touchdown yet this year. So he's getting double teamed every single game. And all these other guys, I don't know, sometimes these kids are making good catches, but, man, a lot of drops. A lot of these guys are dropping the ball, uh, the uh, Packers oh, okay. receivers. So that's kind of annoying. Um, and then uh, what else do I have here? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, so that Lindsey, that running back that Denver has, you got like four, yeah. you got like 150 so yards or whatever. You know what? I, I, good. I, I was in the end zone. I was in the corner end zone where he scored that touchdown. He's the one that drug all the guys into the end zone, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, the white guy. So yeah. he, they stopped him on the four, and everybody was standing and cheering. And then he kept going. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I got through all Yeah, you look at it like, oh, wait, that's a touchdown? I was, that's where I was. I was I was right near the end zone down low. I had, I had really good. So did you did anyone Lambo leap into you? Uh no. They, actually, the first guy to score a touchdown, the receiver, he didn't Lambo leap. Oh really? I don't know. Uh yeah, I don't know why. We got to teach him better. But so you uh, you were on that side when they when he threw that touchdown. That was a great pass. That's the thing of beauty. The first touchdown. Yeah. The first touchdown. Yeah, I was. That's where I. Was. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty awesome. All right, so you obviously were not listening to the game, but uh, Chris Myers was doing uh, and no, Nowitzki, oh. Moose Moose Johnson was doing the okay. game, but Chris Myers, uh, Gene, I, I didn't know that. Gene, he, uh, you know, hey, listen, I'm a fan of Chris Myers back in the Sports Center days. Uh, he made a lot of mistakes, like yeah. really, really bad mistakes, like calling oh, the game. Really? Like pretty bad. Like he was saying, like, uh, and it's a fumble. It's fumble recovery. We'll we'll have to go back and see with the flag wall, blah blah blah. And uh, <laughs> see, he thought he saw a fumble and then a recovery. I'm just like, what? Like what? That did not happen. And uh, you know, Moose Johnson. He's you can tell like Moose Johnson just doesn't say anything. He doesn't even try to correct him. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I don't know. I think Chris Myers might have had too many hits on the head or something because uh, oh making some mistakes. Yeah, for- Remember getting old, yeah. getting old. All right. <laughs> yeah, Gene, it's bad when you have a worse memory than the football player next to you, for God's sakes, right? Good Lord. Wow. All yeah. right. All right. I so, know he does that. He's kind of got that reputation of uh, making some mistakes like that. But, okay. <laughs> hey, let, let, get get off the stage, old man. Let someone else, you know, can do it, who can actually, like, call the That's place right. correctly. Move on up. Move on up. Move on out. All right. Any other? Yeah. So then you, uh, the game was over, and you you hung around. Uh, by the I way, stayed. I I I mean, everybody was gone. I mean, I they right behind where the Packers, oh, uh, where their training center is. They have a huge tent set up where they have a band, and they played till seven. And then I walked around. <laughs> and Whoa, then, uh, seven. Back to the state. I got back over to the stadium at eight o'clock, and there's yeah, it was pretty cleared out. 
No, and you, and you, you just didn't have not have the energy to do a uh, late night show, huh? Live from the parking lot. How about that? Live from the parking lot of Lambo. Well, I still, I still, I, oh, I could have. Been. It was pretty quiet, but I had to drive back to uh, Appleton area. <clears throat> Nina, whatever that Nina. is. Nina, <laughs> yeah, I've driven uh, past Nina. Yeah, Cl- Highway sixty. It was, it was, yeah, um, uh, it was uh like forty miles away and or, drive, but. Yeah, no, Highway it was 21, something maybe? to be in the parking lot when everybody was gone. Hey, yeah. by the way, the Packers, they've developed this area right outside the stadium. It's really cool. It's kind of like what they've done at Wrigley. But so uh, they have a lot of stuff for God, fans. Are people going to go fantastic. there, though, during the summer oh. then? I don't know. I don't know. I guess they hope so. It looks like they've done a lot of work. Uh, there's a lot more going on because the Bears game, they don't have a lot of tailgate area, and they have one official tailgate. But Green Bay, they have stuff everywhere. People are tailgating forever. And you walk through these neighborhoods, and it's so great because all the neighbors are outside. You know, they're trying to get people. You can park right next to the stadium uh, in someone's house for $20. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, right on their lawn. That's see. But, yeah. They'll let you. It's uh... so great. It's just such a sense of community. I, I just love it there. Yeah. And people, obviously. They come from all over the state because I drove from uh, Dubuque, my hometown. I left Sunday morning. I left at about uh, 6 a.m. And so I drove through Madison and Oshkosh, the whole deal. A lot of construction in Wisconsin. <laughs> I was like, when are they going to finish? There's always but construction around Madison. Along the way. Yeah. Madison's been like that forever. When are they going to, what is going on there? It seems like the same goddamn like exit. It's always, they're always working on the same goddamn yeah, exit. Yeah. They have like one lane. Uh, those, those, yeah, they've been doing that for years. I, and, uh, hey, they they must have hired a bunch. They, they must have hired a bunch of fibs, Gene. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, <laughs> but you see cars all the way uh, heading to the Packer game from you know I drove so all from yeah. the whole state, which makes it so great on those shitty two lane uh, highways for sure. So yeah, right. exactly. At least yeah. it's free. At least it's free. Illinois. Yeah. Oh, I know. I know. I knew when I got back into Illinois today, first thing you do, because I drove from, I stayed there. Then when, when I passed Milwaukee and then, uh, then you get past, uh, uh, Kenosha, Mars Cheese Castle. And then as soon as I go, Oh, I must be in Illinois. Cause you hit a toll booth. They don't give you any time. <laughs> you, you're in Illinois. You hit a toll booth. Out your pockets, out your pockets, get them out, clear them out. Yeah. All right, we just got a thumbs up talking about toll booths on uh, in Illinois. So there you go. All right, so um, let's just we're just talk about these other games really quick, Gene. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we'll just yeah. move right along. Detroit played Philadelphia. Uh, you know, <laughs> what you know how they like uh, they you, you know you you look in the morning to look at what games are going to be on and all this stuff, and they have a, like a little like five word description or whatever kind of previewing the game, you know? Yeah. Uh, the, the little thing I saw on the uh, NFL app said, uh, the Lions, first undefeated start since 2017. Well, they're 1-0-1. So, I, I mean, I don't really call that undefeated, right? I mean, I guess they don't defeat, <laughs> but they it's not like – Yeah. That's like a good stat. Right. And, by the way, it's only 2017. That's only two years ago. Who cares? Like, that's the best stat they had to, like, preview this game. But uh, yeah, the uh, Detroit won. I again, I don't know why people were talking shit about Matt Patricia, right? I mean, I don't know. He, I've I've seen him like coach a bunch of games against the Packers. I mean, I don't, nothing looks too bad. He just has a shitty team. He just has a bunch of shitty players. Yeah, and his social so. his social skills aren't too great. <laughs> like, yeah. And he has a pencil in his behind his ear at all times. I don't know. Maybe his Lyme disease yeah, gene was- or something. I don't know. Right. Who knows. All right, and then we'll uh, keep on moving right along here. Oakland at Minnesota. Gene, again, I had this game. I was watching this game a little bit. Mm. Uh, Oakland's really bad. Super, super, super bad. Yeah, that they won. Who? Oh, they beat Denver as well. But, yeah, this could get ugly for them for sure. <laughs> God, John Gruden. All right, and then uh, just a couple of other side notes about this. Uh, Zimmer, who uh, turned 63 in June. Says in an NFL Network interview with uh, Tom uh, Pliserero, whatever, whoever that guy is, 
that he wants to coach him at least until he's 70 years old, Gene. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you, tell you what. There, tell, tell you what, I Mike. I just don't think he, uh, I would have his chance. He might want to, but <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a two-way street. Well, for sure, right? Gene, uh, he's only got two more years left of Kirk Cousins, so uh, if you just can make it past that, <laughs> it's kind of smooth wow. sailing, right? Yeah, um, yeah. But hey, Cousins actually had a pretty good game, but that's probably because the uh, he didn't have Khalil Mack coming at him uh, yeah. because the Raiders traded him away, and they don't really have very good defensive rush. And uh, yeah, Cousins had a couple of touchdowns. That Devin guy, Devin, was it, what was his name? Devin Harris is that his name? The running back. I don't know. Whatever, All that right. running back, that fast running back that they got, he did pretty well. And uh, yeah, so Minnesota won that game and uh you're watching live the uh, chicago bears versus the uh redskins is that right yes i saw clinton haha or haha clinton dix former bat or packer what am i saying yeah get pick get a pick six that was pretty good you're welcome for that yeah and bears. cleo mack uh strip kirk C- kirk cousins has not cousins i uh, case keenum I mean, there he's thrown three interceptions. I, I don't know. If you got a good quarterback, you you should feel very lucky. Every time you see one of these guys, you realize how lucky the Packers are. And never have to deal with that. Yeah, these guys. Years. Yeah, I don't know how. Like, yeah, if you got a bad quarterback, how do you even score points? It just doesn't make sense. God, what? I don't know. Tough, it's toughest tough. job. Well, the Bears are kind of figuring that out. There's like only 15 good quarterbacks. Yeah, and Trubisky's been pretty decent tonight, although he just threw an interception. <laughs> and he's not it's garbage. Even, what, what's the I score? Now it's 28-15. Oh. Uh, what what, what it quarter is it? It was 28-3. Well, uh, Trubisky threw an interception on the goal line. That kind of hurt. <laughs> but it's fourth quarter. They're going to win. That's his favorite spot on the goal line. He loves that yeah. spot. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, Gene, let's talk about some brighter, the brighter side of life here. Okay. Like uh, the Badgers. Oh, the Badgers. You know what? So Saturday, oh, that's another event. I went to the National Touring Company at Disney on Ice. Fantastic. (laughs) If you've never been to an Ice Capade show. Speaking about Badgers, Cat Randall. Speaking of. So so that was going on, and uh, there's a guy behind me. He was a Badger, and I was like, wow, you're a good dad going to this show while the Badgers were playing Michigan. He goes, yeah, I know. And <laughs> he was watching it on his phone, so he kept me updated. But, wow, they were good. They were – they're good. Uh, yeah, I – uh, you know, I had to go do something. Like, I think I had to go to the grocery store. I'm like, yeah, I'll just, uh, you know, tune in like 20 minutes, you know, a little late, you know, fashionably late. Yeah. Turn on, it's twenty one to zero already for God's sakes. Like Jesus. What's it what's that guy's the running back's name? Oh my god. Jason Taylor or no or something Taylor? Yeah, I'm not sure, but he's <laughs> I guess pretty good, right? Jason Taylor, that's a football guy, right? From the Dolphins. I don't know. Yeah, I guess yeah, he's pretty so. good. I mean. All right. Yeah. So yeah, J- oh poor old Jim Harbaugh. Not looking too good. Is this Man. gonna be his last year? Yeah. As a Wolverine? I, no. I don't, I don't think so, but he's really, it's disappointing. Uh, what, I'm sure the Michigan fans are just like, what the hell, Jim? Can he not recruit? Does he have bad players or what? No, I think he gets some good players. I don't know. I don't think his offensive system apparently has been too creative. Hey, if he gets blown out by Ohio State again, look out. There, <laughs> people are going to be, yeah. Dang. Look out. Dang, Jim Harbaugh can't even coach college football, for God's sakes. Michigan, college football. You can get any player you want. Good Lord. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. Or Jim Harbaugh. Yeah. Well, hey, I got some advice for old Jim. Uh, yeah. Jim, Jim was the guy from the Colts, right? Or was that John? Yes, he did. He played for the Bears and the Colts. Okay, all right. Well, hey, listen, Jim. I, I got an idea for you. I'll, how about you? Uh, how about you try to recruit Colin Kaepernick, huh? Since he's the guy, he's the only guy that actually helped you win. Yeah. And hey, there's uh, another guy that just went. We, you know, Antonio Brown <laughs> just went back to school in Michigan. Yeah. 
and I think he's still got a year left of eligible. Oh no, because he went pro. So, but he went he went to Central Michigan and he re-enrolled today. I don't know. <laughs> well, he's 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 making really good decisions, right? For sure. Oh my gosh, he, he couldn't happen to a least likable guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, remember, like I don't know if it was a week or two ago when I was saying that he wouldn't play like a down for the Patriots. All right, I was yeah. I was one game off, one game off, Gene. But yeah, they yeah. cut him, and he gave up all that. He game. blew. He had thirty million. He with the Raiders, he had thirty million guaranteed, and he lost all that money. <laughs> and then now the Patriots aren't going to try to pay him anything. I don't think. I think they're going to fight it. So they were going to like uh, let the process work and let the investigations go on and blah blah blah, and he was going to be able to play. And then he started texting. Like yeah, the the woman who filed the suit, and her lawyer no, and his they, lawyer woman, or something, or it was another yeah, lady, right? Or was it the? It uh, was a, it was, a, it was another lady. It was the it artist was lady. lady, the oh. artist lady, right? That was painting something. The artist, right? And right, he was trying right. to get with and she, expose himself. She didn't. <clears throat> yeah. And, and if he, uh, he started texting her during the week, threatening her, basically. Sending pictures of her way. kids. He calls it all himself. Oh yeah, like yeah, absolutely. They would have slow rolled the whole process to let this guy play for the Patriots for Bob Kraft, and he had to do the dumbest right. thing in the world. Like the, he obviously yeah. thinks that like there's no he has no consequences. There's nothing that will like mess him up because he's got yeah. money. And, and then he goes after Robert Kraft, <laughs> and they still owe him. Nine million dollars, and if you want to get that money, yeah. I mean, they're going to try to avoid it, which I'm sure they'll have a good, yeah, yeah. They don't, ha- he doesn't have to give it to him, so no, especially after you go after the owner, so not good, yeah. I mean, I don't think, I don't think uh, AB is going to play this year, but uh, I think someone will, he just no needs way. to act not crazy, I don't think so hey, just got to act not crazy for I a year, Gene. I, I, it's too good. Why would you want? Okay, we'll see. I, yeah, I don't think he'll play this year either, but then he's a year older, and I don't know. Maybe someone will. Maybe. He's going to get the kind of money that yeah, he turned on from the Raiders. So. Yeah, maybe if he has a year without paychecks coming in, and then he finds uh, himself yeah. broke. He's like, and he's yeah. Got, you know, he has, I believe he has five kids with different women, <laughs> so he's going to end up broke too, I'm telling you, right? These guys, they they end up going broke. I, I'm, yeah. Hey. At least no, no, no man owns him, Gene. No man owns him. Let's, let's just remember that. All right. And then uh, here we go, Gene. A, uh, I know you were a uh, used to do the band, the band thing, right? Yes. The marching oh, yeah. band. The Iowa band. I was in the University of Iowa band. Well, uh, and shocking he- news. You, Gene, you must have the inside info on this one then. There was uh, an incident la- last week. I think it was Iowa versus Iowa State, right? The Cyclones? I know. And when I was in band, we went to Ames, but I was not sexually assaulted did or you, abused in any did, way. Now, did you witness this incident? Uh, no. Because you were at I, that game, I, right? I in, no, I was not. Oh. I, was, I was not. Oh. I was at a different game. Oh, okay. So I thought I thought maybe you uh, had maybe video some co- co- corroborating video or something. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. But I I I don't want to believe. I think all people and I were good. So I, hope, I don't want it to believe either. <laughs> it must yet. have been the uh, Okies or something like that. But uh, yeah, of right. course we're talking about the uh, some fisticuffs. I don't know about fisticuffs, but uh, what's been called an assault as the Iowa marching band was what walking back to the bus or something like this or whatever. And uh yeah. are they saying it was the other the opposite band or just like fans or like what? Cyclone uh, I think fans? The fans? Yeah, but who started knows? started I mean, pushing was... people. And yeah. uh well this is yeah. what this is what one one band member described it. A fan shoved me out of his way as we were marching formation back to the buses. Knopp told the Gazette in the interview. He decided to cut through the band and shove me out of his way. I yelled, do not put your hands on me, sir. And he yelled back, F you. <laughs> he yelled back, F you. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Gene, this is uh, clearly uh, 
class one assault, right? I mean, let's let's get these kids, you know, rounded up. I don't want I don't want anything bad. I want all people in Iowa to like each other, right? Gene, uh, these guys got. I mean, I uh, you know when I, when I saw the story. So the whole point is, so they complain, filed the reports, but apparently the uh, admin for Iowa did not take it seriously, and pretty much the investigation is going nowhere. Uh, but now, after protests from the band members, Iowa reopens investigation into assaults on a marching band after students call bullshit on the initial admin response. And, of course, I saw this is the first time I saw this, Gene. And I'm like, wow, uh, did, did these kids get punched or, like, what happened? I mean, did, did someone, like, shove a trombone up their ass? What happened here? <laughs> Uh, no, Gene, I, I, Gene, I don't know. Gene, someone, uh, it, hey, it's worse than that. Someone cut through the blind, Gene, cut through the band line going into the bus and, and they pushed the, uh, yeah. they pushed, they pushed a cello player. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They, they pushed a French horn you player, Gene. I, I, I know. I, listen, <laughs> when, ridiculous. You're, when you're in band, I know you're not supposed to cut through the line, but most bands have been drinking. They don't know that. <laughs> Plus, they're mad because I would beat them, and yeah, yeah. Yeah, Gene, this is, uh, all right, listen, band, band folks, listen, uh, you guys are, have a really tough job, but all right, just grow, just grow up, all right? It, it happens. It's a college football game. People are drunk, you know? Come on, chill out. That's right. There you go. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Or are you yawning, Gene? I don't know. I can't tell. No, no, I'm, 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 I'm with you. I'm, I, I, right. I want, uh, all those band kids and the drunk kids from Iowa State that get along, respect each other. Yeah, get yeah. along. Just get along. Yeah, right. What did that Wisconsin guy, the the band member, play? Say, hey, let's uh, pour, buy, buy a beer for a Bronco fan, right? Buy a beer for a band yeah, member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said that a bunch of times. He goes, if you're standing next to a Broncos fan, give them a hug. They need it today. And then <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I'm a beer. Damn, that's really nice. Thanks. That did you, Wisconsin people are really great. Did people yeah, really hug? Well, I'm, I guess that's an excuse to like hug a girl. I guess, huh? Yeah, it's no. pretty good. If yeah. Now, Gene. How, by the way, Gene, I don't think I asked you this, but how were the uh, Wisconsin ladies? Were they uh, looking pretty good or what? Yeah, <laughs> I I said when I was there, there's I I mean, there's nothing better than a nice looking gal in Packers gear. And there's a lot of good looking Yeah, the good people in Wisconsin are very attractive. Yeah, there's a lot of really nice looking women. Souls. Souls are attractive. All right. Yeah, I, I'm trying not to Yeah. Yeah, Gene Gene's a lover. He's not a fighter, right? I know. And good looking guys too, so there. Yep. Every, right. Goatees, a lot, lot of goatees. <laughs> yeah, a lot of guys in like um camouflage uh like they just came off the deer hunting game. So, <laughs> like they have a deer like carcass that. like on the truck. Right, right. Gene, just deer hunting. I think deer hunting's going on now. Gene, you ever drive like uh, the roads like uh, after like j you know the day of deer hunting and all this stuff? Just pieces of deer just falling off the these trucks. Oh, I and... saw quite a bit. I was super aware of it. Luckily, yeah, because they they're run away from all the hunters and. Wow, you got to watch it on the road because that can do some damage, that's <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yep. All right, well, you know what's damaged, Gene? What? The uh, Chicago Cubs. Oh, my gosh. They're pretty so, damaged. So, uh, Thursday night was so electric. The so, that was – was that you, Darvish? Was he pitching that in that game? No, he pitched yesterday. Oh, no, okay. um, I don't know who pitched. Oh, Kyle Hendricks, who's been great. He's got the best ERA in the majors at home. And Rizzo's been out, and he made a sudden appearance. Everybody, I mean, it was all the rooftops were full. That that was such a – it was like a playoff game. And then the Cubs, oh, I don't know. Everyone showed okay. up with the team? Yeah, and the Cubs are down 4-1. to one. And it was a um, – and it was like a – it was a day game, right? It was like a day no, game. No, it was Thursday. It was night. It was oh, Thursday okay. night. Oh, right. That's right. Friday was the night game. So, yeah. And then, and then I was right behind the home plate. So, oh, right really? behind me. Yeah. And right behind me in the uh, – I know where G, uh, Jed and Theo sit. They're, they, have a, they have a box right um, 
But I can see into the box really well, so I was watching him. But anyway, the Cubs are losing 4-1, to one, and he scored three runs in the bottom of the ninth. And the place goes crazy, and it was so electric. And I go, this is it. We're going to, you know, beat the Cardinals, sweep them, and we're going to be in first place. And then top of the 10th, Kimbrough, Craig Kimbrough, our $43 million man, right off the DL comes in, gives up a home run to Matt Carpenter. The Matt and the Carpenter, the guy always seems like he does something. To but he's been, he's been, Carpenter's been terrible this year. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah, I think it was better in the earlier, but yeah, he has been, he hasn't even been playing that much, right? I don't think he played against the Brewers too much. No. He's been, yeah. no, and man, he just smoked it, and it, what a demoralizing loss, and then the Cubs ended up losing all four games, all four games they lost by one run, the next, or Saturday, Kimbrough, the Cubs had a one-run lead, and then Kimbrough, two pitches, two home runs, you know, <laughs> the Molina, he, right, wasn't one of them to yeah, Molina, one of them Molina been. sucks, wow. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you one thing. Kimbrough's a, a, I now I know why Boston didn't want him pitching. He's been terrible. He's given up so many home runs. He's lost. He lost two of the games against St. Louis. His ERA, I think, is over eight. I mean, for goodness sakes. So, yeah, there's been Theo. Theo is not the. Yeah, he's getting some heat that, uh... from. Some some Chicago uh, people are like maybe they should get rid of Theo and keep Joe Madden. Oh, well, uh, they got a lot of contracts. I mean that you Darvish contract. Uh, well, it uh, they got yeah. They're, they're, I think there's a third highest payroll in baseball, and and then they went on to lose all four to the Cardinals, and they lost their last six home games all by one run, I believe. So yeah, it, it was just terrible. As we record this on Monday, like they lost six in a row. Just what you want to yeah. be doing uh, the last week of the season, and nowhere but up, I yeah. guess, right? So now it's over. Well, hey, listen, go Brewers! I'm all <laughs> for. I would, uh, it, yeah, I'm all for the Brewers winning the World Series. Well, they're the, is that okay if I hop on? <clears throat> I don't. It's about yeah. time. All right. Well, just uh, yeah, just uh, well, you Darvish had eight Ks in a row. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? That one game. Yeah, and guess what? They blew the lead in the ninth inning. I mean, uh, <laughs> he had the lead going into the ninth. That was another game they blew. Oh, it's been awful. I'm glad the season's over on Sunday, so I don't have to watch anymore. <laughs> but I, I guess the Brewers could technically still win the division, right? Yep, they, it's true. It is true. They're three games behind St. Louis. Yeah, and the Cubs have to go to St. Louis this weekend to play three. Maybe yep. they'll pay them back by so, you know. Yeah, well, I wish uh, the the Cubs would have won at least two of those games. It would have helped us uh, quite a bit. Quite oh, a bit yeah. More, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, all right. Milwaukee, they're definitely hard. All right, we, we can do a little preview here in a second. But, yeah, let's talk about the Brewers. They won well, they swept the Pirates. Uh, Pirates are terrible. Pirates are really bad. They're really sloppy. They lose the game. Their relief pitchers are pretty bad. Uh, not good. Um, yeah. Uh, so bad, Gene, that the pitcher on uh, Saturday's game, don't remember who it was. I think it was a starting pitcher, though. He threw, so it was bases loaded. And uh, like 3-2 or whatever, 3-1, who knows, whatever. Uh, threw a crazy changeup. That kind of went like down to the right and was obviously a ball. Ba- a base runner didn't swing, so he walked in a run. And then the catcher had to do a crazy maneuver to try to catch the ball. And he turns out he twisted his knee trying to catch it. So not only did this bump pitcher, uh, you know, walk a run in, but uh, he hurt his catcher trying to catch his goddamn pitch. That that that's bad. That is that is bad, Gene. That is bad. And uh, Gene, I know you were you were at the game in Chicago, but uh, I was watching uh, the Brewer game here. They showed uh, some of Bob Euchre. They showed Bob Euchre. Oh, he's uh, he's he's looking real low, Gene. <laughs> he's looking real, real low. Not not too good. Not too good. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, hey, let's win, win let's win one for Euchre, huh? How about that? How about that be yeah. the rallying call? Yeah. 
How about that? So, all right. It'd be great. You know what? It would be great to see him win. They could. Why not? I mean, it's going to be tough if they're the wild card, but yeah, why not? Well, I think the uh, Brewers are going for the division. They are, again, three games yeah. behind, six games left. So, uh, hey, yeah. you know, what if uh, St. Louis, they lose one against, uh, you know, the Diamondbacks, yeah, which they're the playing? Cubs, the Cubs have nothing to lose. Maybe Cubs will go into St. Louis and win a couple yeah, and screw F- up their season. In FU mode. But uh, knowing the Cubs, they would probably just lay down like a dog and die. Oh, my gosh. So, I can't believe. Okay. So who, knows oh. th- who knows that? Uh, Brewers will be playing yeah. the Reds in a – Three game series. I think the Reds will take a game, at least one game from that series. And uh, yeah, then they play the Rockies for three games and the uh, season. I think the Rockies win a game too from there. So who knows? Or they just sweep. Or they just go in total FU mode and sweep both teams. That'd be pretty sweet too. Okay. So uh, yeah, so did Washington play today? Oh yeah, so Washington played a doubleheader, didn't they? Or no, yeah, wrong with that. So they okay, they won one. Right. Okay. Uh, tomorrow they play a doubleheader. Yeah, so Washington could lose two games tomorrow. So, uh, but all right, so just let's the playoffs really quick. Uh, it's Washington half a game above the Brewers, and then Chicago four games behind. Mets five games behind. Gene, what's so? Uh, Gene, that that's been actually had an article about the uh, the 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 Cubs falling. I don't know if you were able to check it out, yeah. but uh, I did. yeah. And they acted like uh, Madden was for gone for sure at the end of the season. Do you is that? I think so. It's been kind of a done deal all year. I mean, it, oh, I don't know. I don't. I I'm just trying to be a fan. I like Joe Madden. I, it's a mess. I never thought he'd get this ugly. Like this, but it's not good. Yep. Yep. Well, did they both leave, Theo and uh, Joe? Well, Theo wouldn't leave, but he would. I mean, if if Ricketts got really mad, he might just fire him, but I don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess Theo can always be like, yeah, this coach sucks. Petting zoo doesn't work anymore around here. Yeah. Too many petting yeah. zoos, Theo. Well, I mean, Joe Mann's contract's up, so technically he wouldn't be getting fired. So. Oh, okay. All right. All okay. righty. All right, and then uh, here's a, here's a, here's a feel good story, Gene. Oh, you want to look on the bright side of life, Gene? Yeah. Let's let's move away from the uh, Cubs to uh, Ned Yost, huh? How about that? Ned Yost right. is retiring at the end of the season. Did you hear that? I did not. All right, well, he used to coach the Brewers, kind of set them up for success, and, uh, of course, went to KC, and he won the World Series with a bunch of Brewers, farm prospects, and uh, went to a consecutive World Series, won one. So, uh, there you go. Good start for Ned Yost, huh? Yeah, great. And he won the World Series. Good for Kansas City. Start over. But yeah, oh, they sold Kansas City anyway. They have a new owner, so do they do yeah, the sale? Is that official? Yeah. Oh yeah. I I don't know. He has. A, I think next year the, the ownership. It's their first year. Yeah, he's probably like, nah, I want to work for these idiots. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna wait until yeah. someone. I'm gonna wait until the Angels call me so I can live in California. That's, I'm yeah, sure that's what I he's saying. So. Yeah. Or the Dodgers. Um. God, can you imagine the, the the Royals? You're just like, damn, we won a championship like five years ago. Probably not going to win one for another 20 years. Let's just cash out right now. Well, now that's yeah, that's the thing I'm worried about the Cubs. I'm like, what the hell are they doing? But we'll see. How much? So after. How, they, how, how long ago did they buy the Cubs? Like 10 years ago or how long has it been? Uh, they, I, think, I think they bought them in 2012 probably. Oh, really? Somewhere around yeah, so they're not going to be selling the Cubs. Oh, no, they Ricketts family never. No, I don't think so. I think that's there. It would be kind of because they no, they spent a lot of money developing the area. They're not going anywhere. I don't think. Yep. All right. Well, there you go. That's <laughs> that's good. Right. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. We'll I, see. No, I love Ricketts. <laughs> I like the ownership group. I like everything about him. I just. I yeah, I just question some of the. Yeah, just get your. 
All right. Well, from your from your mouth to God's ears, perhaps. Yeah. All right. Well, Gene, that's all I got for uh, tonight. Are you on your way back to Los Angeles, or what's the plan? Are yeah, you going... I have a six thirty a.m. flight. So oh wow, the red eye. Up. Oh my gosh, almost. I don't know what how I ended up on take. That's never a good. Idea. Just to get up at like four. A little... Yeah, but that's you'll probably land in L.A. like at eight, though, right? Local time. Eight. Something Absolutely. Like that? Yep. That's yep, always nice. When you fly back yeah. and you like basically don't lose two hours, you're getting back yeah. pretty, pretty much. And then I'm coming back here again in three weeks. So oh wow! Maybe go to maybe go to. I was planning on going to Monday Night Football, Packers and Lions. So we'll see. Well, that would be a good choice. So, all right. Okay. So I think we'll uh, end it there. Uh, it's late for Gene. No, He's but... got a long day. Yeah. Uh, so long travel day. Good All luck. Right. Good job, Bears. Bears and Packers both looking pretty <laughs> good this week. Well, Go Badgers. That's surprising. But all right. So for Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Stats. It's been the Midwest Sports Show. We'll see you guys next week.